Hi DIYers, this is Daryl with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to discuss how to automate arming with the Z-Wave door lock on the Lynx Touch panels. We're going to already assume that you have your Z-Wave lock enrolled to your Lynx panel. From here we're going to go to Automation, we're going to arrow down, we're going to go to Tools, we're going to press Advanced Tools, and we're going to enter 4112 as the installer code to go in. Under this menu, we're going to go to Locking Door. From here, the Z-Wave Locking Door feature is defaulted it disabled. You can select Arm Stay, which will cause the panel to arm stay when the door is locked. We're using the Z-Wave Door Lock. If you select it again, it goes to Arm Away, which will turn the panel into Arm Away when the Z-Wave Lock is locked. We can tap it again and go to Arm Without Auto Stay, and Auto Stay prevents the panel going back to a stay mode if no entry exit zones are triggered. We're going to select the arm away mode. You press save once you've saved your option. Then you use the return arrow to continue backing out. So from here, once you've got everything set up programming wise and with the Z-Wave lock already enrolled, you can now lock the lock either with a thumb turn on the back, your key from the front, or some locks allow you to swipe to lock the lock. Yep, which now arms the system. It'll do its countdown to arm away. We can actually go here and watch the countdown. The reason the panel went to arm to stay is that when we did the locking door programming setup, we selected arm away. We did not select arm away with auto stay disabled. All right, DIYers, and that's how you automate arming on the Lynx Touch panel with the Z-Wave door lock. If you have any questions, send us an email at support at alarmgrid.com or head to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications. This is Daryl signing off. Have a great day.